hello guys uh, today i'll show you how to um, use a spotify ad blocker on ubuntu or pop os based systems um, so basically we are going to use a script file uh, to install uh, spotify uh, so um, before that uh, you must not have any snap uh, spotify package if you are having if you have installed uh, spotify from snap store or using a snap then you need to uninstall that first and if you have any other spotify um, uh, dev package you have installed any other spotify dev package you can delete those using this command sudo, uh, sudo apt-get purge spotify client and it will uh, then purge uh, the whole um, spotify application if you have installed it previously so i'll just uh, um, we'll just uh, uh, need to go here in this repository. I'll give a link of this repository in the description. Um, then you are going to go to this uh, code section here. You will see this HTTPS. Uh, then you're just gonna copy this, copy this whole URL. Uh, you can um, use the right click, or and you can also use this. So, just gonna copy this and. Um, I already have that, so let me just delete those. Yeah. Okay, I'm all set. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the clone, then I'm going to paste this um, URL. Okay. So, yeah. So um, it is going to uh, it is now fetching uh, this repository. It is now cloning this repository from GitHub uh, onto my machine, local machine, and um, it is going to um, fetch around 14, 40 MB of data. So let me get. Uh, so let's get into this um, um, Spotify ad block. So we'll do CD then Spotify ad block. Then we'll do an ls to see the components, and now we have uh, as um, a script file, a dot sh uh, script file, um, and a desktop entry file. So let's see what we have inside this uh, uh, dot um, dot sh file. So um, okay, so we are yeah, we don't need to uh, talk about this so this is like um, basic stuff so uh, we are getting um we are fetching um this spotify um client um dev file uh from the official repository that is this yeah um if we go here uh yeah you can see this uh this is an official repository of spotify okay so if you go into client we'll see this um this is the latest version uh, that has been uploaded by spotify on september 2nd 2021 uh, all right so um we are fetching this um um, um we're fetching uh, um this def file uh, spotify def file then we are locating this def file using this pointer then uh, um um, we are installing this dev file so do remember we do need uh, sudo privileges without sudo privileges we cannot install um, this dev file we cannot install any dev file without sudo privileges so we do need uh, sudo privileges for that so I'm showing this to you so you don't um, um, you don't need to worry about that um, worry about in malicious malicious stuff so um, it then it will just uh, check for uh, broken packages if there is any it will fetch those all right so after that what we are doing here um we are going to um downloads then we um we are uh installing some um dependencies like get gcc uh, we don't we don't need gcc but okay uh we we do need the rust c as uh, this spotify ad block uh, will compile using rust c so um, um it will um then we have passed the pointer which will uh, locate 
uh, the Spotify AirBlock which we have cloned yeah uh, under home okay so after that it will get into this uh, um, this Spotify AirBlock and then it will make those binaries so um, um, after that it will just do a sudo make install which will install um, that dot so bin binary uh, into um, I think in user directory so after that uh, we have um, we have this and we are uh, moving into the local applications then after that we have uh, the uh, after that we will after that the script will um, fetch this uh, Spotify Linux uh, desktop entry file into this this location this local applications and then it will basically then just uh, exit out of it exit out so let's just run it dot slash I think we have the privileges F spot. yeah we do have privileges okay so if you don't have to register just ch mod f plus x yeah spot dot sh this will do after that we'll just uh, spot dot sh uh, we'll just run the script and now we can see this is um, fetching uh, this client um, spotify client uh, which we have previously seen here it is fetching this and after that um, it is almost around 100 over 100 MB um, uh, for this uh, Ubuntu and um, Pop OS based systems and as you can see um, yeah it has found uh, it has installed it and now it is building uh, it is compiling uh, that um, ad blocker um, I think this is if we go here we can see it um, if we go to the uh, this link uh, it will uh, this is the actual ad blocker so yeah we uh, if you use this you need to manually uh, make and uh, load yeah but with that script you don't need to do that um, okay so yeah it has compiled successfully uh, and it is it has also installed um, that binary um, that binary into this location all right um, you can also check uh, if there is any binary in here with this name so just gonna ok press ok and what we will do is uh, um, we'll just ls into here and then we'll pass a grip command uh, which will then um, search for the Spotify Spotify uh, and as you can see we have a Spotify ad block all right so this is what we need um, this dot so file um, to basically uh, remove the ads from our Spotify so that script also went to um, local uh, local share applications local application directory and it has also placed this uh, this desktop entry under that local applications so if we yeah, if we open this desktop entry we can see what we have we have a desktop entry with the name of application and it is also uh, using this icon from spotify client and the name of the application is spotify pledge so if we search here you can see we have an application named spotify glitch so what uh, this uh, if you press uh, in this uh, application what it will do is it will execute that dot uh, so file um, which we have compiled uh, and uh, load it into this uh, directory and it will uh, it will also um, uh, launch it will launch Spotify with this dot uh, so file so with that uh, we uh, the ads are going to get blocked so 
don't need to worry about that um, for the source if you are having issues with the source you can just uh, go to this um, this uh, uh, repository of uh, this user abba23 and uh, you can check uh, the source codes so i think uh, i am using this uh, method for quite a long time now so and i haven't uh, have any issues so that's it after that it will uh, um, after uh, the script ran successfully you will uh, see this spotify glitch and uh, just press on this and it will open spotify for you i have uh, logged in b from before so uh, yeah it is showing my account and um, you can also what uh, what else you can do is you can just um, um, place this spotify glitch to your dock yeah and um, every time you open spotify uh, from this dock it will open the spotify uh, along with that um, dot so file so every time you play a song um, you won't uh, have any ad alright so let me just play some song clear yeah as you can see the songs are getting played and and there is no end. Yeah. Is no end. So that's pretty much it. And uh, you don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, just run the script and make sure you don't have uh, uh, any snap uh, um, Spotify. So I can show you there will be a snap Spotify. Yes, you should not use this. Um, you should not use this a snap it uh, if you use the snap it will not work with that uh, um, that binary dot as a file which we have compiled it will not work with that if you are using this you need to uninstall this uh, sn uh, from snap if you are uh, if you have installed it from snap and uh, then after uninstalling uh, just uh, uh, run the script uh, using the method I've shown and everything else will just work okay so that's it for now thank you